Welcome to Storyteller. In Chapter 2, we delve into a world where the air is thick with mystery and the scent of pine. Join us as we explore the secrets hidden within the town's historical society. Clara Jennings, along with her friends, stands on the brink of uncovering truths that have been buried for generations. Stay tuned as we unravel the mysteries that haunt this small town. Don't forget to subscribe to Storyteller for more intriguing tales. In the dim light of the town's historical society, Clara Jennings stood with her heart racing, caught between excitement and trepidation. The flickering candlelight cast dancing shadows on the walls, illuminating the dust motes that floated lazily in the air. Clara's fingers brushed against the spine of an old leather-bound journal. Its surface cracked and worn, as if it had been waiting for her touch for decades. This journal belonged to Mr. Hargrove, the town's reclusive historian, whose knowledge of the past was both revered and feared by the townsfolk. Clara felt a surge of determination. This was the key to unraveling the mysteries that had haunted her family for generations. Ethan Carter, Clara's adventurous best friend, leaned against the wall, his bright blue eyes darting nervously around the room. Are you sure we should be doing this? He asked his voice barely above a whisper. The shadows seemed to echo his doubts, and Clara could see the conflict etched on his face. Ethan's tousled brown hair fell over his forehead, and his mischievous grin was replaced by a frown that betrayed his deeper fears. Clara understood his hesitation. The spectral figure they had seen in the pond was not just a figment of their imagination, but a harbinger of the town's buried secrets. Maya Patel, with her sleek black hair and sharp features, stood resolutely beside Clara, her dark eyes gleaming with ambition. We need to know the truth, Clara. This is our chance to expose what the town has been hiding for so long, she urged, her voice steady yet tinged with impatience. Clara felt the tension rise between her friends, the air crackling with unspoken fears and ambitions. Maya's drive to uncover the truth often clashed with Clara's cautious nature. And now, as they stood on the precipice of discovery, the friction between them was palpable. As Clara opened the journal, the musty scent of aged paper filled her nostrils, and she felt as if she were stepping into a world long forgotten.